In this video, we'll talk about a new feature of ChatGPT, which is a web search. Now, gone are the days when you go to Google and search, click on different, different links and get the answers. So something which is ChatGPT. Earlier, ChatGPT had a model which was trained and from that database, we used to search. But now, uh, suppose the data was till 2020, we used to get information only about 2020. Now, every year, obviously data changes. So now ChatGPT is connected to the live internet, okay, to the live news everywhere. So when you ask a question to ChatGPT, there are two options. One, it searches its own database and gives you the answer, number one option. Second, it searches the live websites, okay? It searches the websites which are currently over there and then gives you the information. For example, every day there are changes in the stock market, share market, the prices of that. Every day the currency value changes, dollars, rupees and everything. Every day the prices for gold and silver keeps on changing. So you need to be updated. Just for that thing, do you need to switch to Google? The answer is no. For that simple thing, you don't have to go to Google. You can just use ChatGPT web search option. Let's try to understand. So what is that ChatGPT web search? It searches the web at the chat speed. The way you chat with someone, it will go and find out all the answers with sources you can trust. You can tell them, I want the information from so-and-so source. It can give the answers. So how it works, basically, you ask ChatGPT. ChatGPT checks the web and replies with fresh info and the links as well from where it has, uh, you know, got the information and it will give the answers. So what happens is when to use, if you want the latest news, for example, the events, price or trends, and if you also want to verify the sources to check the facts, references or reliable websites and some extra details to find out what are the recent changes or extra details beyond ChatGPT's built-in knowledge, which I said earlier. Now, how to use it? Very simple. The steps should be on my screen. So very first thing, when you open ChatGPT, there's an option given as web search. If you click on that web search and you can just search the output over there. Let's try to understand with this example. This is my ChatGPT. I can click on this plus sign. And here, if I click on more button, in this more button, I have the option as web search. The moment I click on this, now this ChatGPT is connected to the live internet right now. And if I ask, uh, what is the news today? Give me top 10 news in one line each enter that's it now today's news it will find out and get me the answers so you see it is giving all the website links as well from where it is searching and these are the reference links if you see these are the reference links which is actually giving here okay and if i say in five words each make it very simple in five words you give me the news now to get the same answer, if you go to Google, you have to search 10 websites, see the news and get the output, but it will give you the way you want to see. If you want them to uh, convert into a story and tell you the news, you can still do that. Okay, convert each news in short story of one sentence, enter. So it will try to convert into a story and tell you. Some people like to understand the news in the story format, it will give you, for example, provoking protest as a sudden push back against what they see and, and so on. Okay. So this is what uh, the web search does. And what are the different use cases for this web search? Let me share my screen over here. So different use cases is, for example, what change in income tax rules in India this year? Okay. Given the latest news and also show the sources. That's one example. Compare product A versus product B in a table find out the latest specifications and give the links. For example, if you want to buy a mobile phone, right? You usually go to Amazon, Flipkart, some, you know, e-commerce websites. So instead of going there, you can ask ChatGPT, I want to compare the prices of iPhone, this version with versus iPhone, the other version. Tell me the prices and also the features, also the links where I can buy the cheapest price. So it can be a mobile phone. It can be a laptop. It can be, you know, sourcing B2B products and services, anything. Next is best time to visit the place next three months give me the weather plus events and sources also so if you want to go to some other place find out uh, the next three months what is the weather accordingly accordingly you can uh, do the packing uh, whether some changes are there in the weather you can pick up and prepare that thing you can also summarize today's top three headlines on specific topic include the original articles as well so these are some use cases which i have now you can think of your own use cases which can be helpful in real time related to web search so i hope you have understood about the chat gpt web search and very useful feature that's all for this video